So how's it going Sonic.exe fans and welcome to Morrowind Horror. It's raining, we're outside Saran, this is gonna be a good one. Lads, lasses, we found a Morrowind Horror mod. This guy just killed a Gwar, you're doing good work. Fair play to you. Oh he was wild. If I had learned you would kill a docile Gwar, I would have killed you. Let's get this over with quickly. Mwah. Anyway, a viewer told me about the Morrowind horror mod and I immediately jumped on it because I want to see horror in Morrowind. I want to see horror in Oblivion and Skyrim too, so look forward to that. We're gonna check out all the horror mods because, yeah, I was gonna wait for Halloween. But feck it, doing it live. It took me a while to find this mod. It was deleted nearly everywhere I went. I went to Nexus pages, it was deleted. I went to multiple forum posts, it was deleted or the links just led nowhere. Until I eventually found a link. Someone uploaded like a YouTube video on it. There was a link in the downloads and the link worked. My voice is a bit more dulcet. Sit back and relax, get a cup of tea, get scared. We're gonna get started into the Morrowind Horror mod. I can't wait for this. I can't wait. So coming up to the town of Saran, there's an iron dagger and a note. I'm gonna put on my best ASMR voice, like I'm reading a creepypasta. <laughs> Just for this mod, cause why not? Saran warning, the recent disappearances. Over these past few weeks, many people in Saran have gone missing. Not only Saran, but people from neighboring farms and towns as well. We ask that all civilians stay in their houses after nightfall, with their doors locked until our investigations are complete and a conclusion is drawn. Rest assured, there is no need to be alarmed. Your safety is our priority. So we have assigned more guards standing watch over the area. Fardenfeld's Imperial Army. There kind of is cause for alarm. I mean, people are disappearing. You're just gonna tell people to stay, can't? Well, they can't tell people to just go nuts. Please scream and run around in circles. I love the rain. I don't know if the rain is like a uh, programmed in or if it's just good timing. I will listen out there. You look evil. Make it quick. Red Mountain spreads ash and blight. Well, I'm using like my main Morrowind save and I'm like the Nervarine, so you're a bit late. Um, what we need to do is we need to find an Imperial Guard. I'm not Let's get this over with quickly. Our commander Camus left earlier with a party to check out the report of disappearances. You might talk to Andel Van Dem in the Saran trade house about it. He was in Camus' party and has returned. We have a lead. We need to go to the trade house. Quickly. I always liked this orc. She's just wearing orcish armor and a glass pauldron. She looks dope. Girl power and all that. <laughs> oh, there's another warning. Saran underground. Mysterious fog appears over Saran. It's like Persona 4. I love all the notes spread about. In the hills and mountains over Saran, a strange fog has appeared to the southeast. Many who were sent to investigate have gone missing and the Imperial army is in a state of confusion. The Imperials think that it may be connected to the disappearances that have been occurring lately. We'll keep you posted as more details become known. Saran Underground. Saran Tradehouse, here we go. Let's get started. Your name's just Jamie? What? If you Morning, want something, now's the time to talk. It it's weird seeing the name Jamie when like most Marmon names are like Biff. Like this fella's name, Ashel Vandom and Sakin Senema Mawasauer. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. You're the man we need to talk to. Commander Camus enlisted me to help in an investigation of an old cave just southeast of here, out the back of Saran, up in the hills behind the temple. We discovered the air was so thick with some black evil presence that only blessed lanterns with a special design of mine could penetrate the gloom. After providing some lanterns, I left in a hurry to come back to the trade house and try and make some septums. I want to live and I need to eat too. Want to buy some uniquely bright lanterns? I might as well. How much money do I have? I have 35,000 gold. All right. I think I need to sell some stuff. How many healing potions do I have, by the way? Oh, I'm going to need some potions of cure blight too as well. I need to do a bit of preparation, yeah? Actually, wait, I'm immune to blight, right? I'm the Nervarine. Bright lanterns, I'll take 20. 3,000 gold, you're fleecing me. Shouldn't I, like, be immune to blight? Oh, blight immunity, 100%. Yeah, yeah, What do you sell? I'll take the Sujama if I need him. Just as a backup, but I'm not gonna use them if I don't need to. Oh, there's an ash storm. Was there always ash storms in Saran? I guess it is pretty close. Kind of, yeah, it's in like the region. I know exactly where the cave is, but before we leave, I'm going to go to the apothecary. I'm gonna sell a bunch of stuff to you, even though you don't have much to bargain with even. I'm going to need some repair hammers. We're gonna do a little bit of preparation before going into this because I feel like it's gonna be important. Pawnbroker, is there a smith? I think there's a smith, yeah. We're just gonna get some health potions, some repair hammers just to be safe. I have like my creepypasta voice on. Every content creator has a hidden creepypasta voice that they don't know about. I think there's an apothecary here. I just need some extra healing. The thing about this mod is that it's recommended for characters above level 35. I do like a bit of a challenge, so I'm going into it severely underleveled. We're just gonna jump in and see how it is. This is why I'm trying to prepare because I know it's gonna be difficult. Shield, water walking, willpower, night eye, personality. Do you have no healing at all? You've cheeps. Great. 
Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to quickly go to Belmora and uh, buy a stack of healing. Then we're going to go to the cave. We're going to experience the morrow and horror. My fatigue is low while I'm bartering, but I also have 30,000 gold. So it's not the biggest deal in the world if I'm not getting the best prices because I have a stupid amount of gold. Hit it out or hit the you spit it out. Boost her health. If you exit out and go back in, she restocks. If you ever need healing, this is a good way to do it. Okay, let's go. We're going back. Stop saying spit to me. We're gonna leave it in the night time, I think, just for that spooky experience. Hello, guys and gals. Me, Mickey T here, and welcome to Morrowind Creepypasta Horror. There is a Morrowind Creepypasta. I did make a video of me reading a Morrowind Creepypasta. It was a bit boring, so I didn't put it out there. Maybe for Halloween I'll do that. So the cave is over the hills. Oh, you can hear the sound effects already. Oh, do you see the fog? This is creepy. Morrowind and Oblivion especially are always a bit unnerving. Oh, go away. You're actually ruining the horror. Do you mind? I'm trying to scare people, okay? Hello, you have cool armor. He looks like a Mandalorian. Imperial Lord Camus, your lord. Judging by your appearance, I would have to make the assumption that you're a traveling warrior. If you're here concerning the disappearances, I'll have to turn you away. Go plunder a random dungeon. This one isn't for you, kid. Why is that? Why? Because I just sent two groups in there and they haven't come back. It's pitch black so you can't see anything without a special lantern. If you really want to die, I won't stop you. Choose to enter the cave. Alrighty then. You're in control of your own fate now. If you find yourself in trouble at any time, run back here right away. It's very dangerous inside and you'll need plenty of lanterns. The dark in there is unnatural. Check the trade house in town. In order to enter the cave, you'll need this key. Be aware that we are offering 200,000 septums. Jesus. I could pay rent for a week with that as a reward for putting an end to this madness and you're going to have your hands full if an entire legion of our own soldiers got slaughtered. Okay, so he gave us a key. We have the lantern. Oh, oh, he just disappeared into a blinding light. Did he get to lease it? Well, I must be heading back to town. Traveling at night around here is dangerous, especially for someone of my caliber. If you come back alive, you're going to be one rich Nord. Of course, we'll want proof that the problem has been resolved. Farewell. So I guess we can try and find him if I ever beat it. Did the key over encumber me? Yeah, it weighs one. Great. This is it. Let's go in. The horror cave. We have our lantern equipped. We have ebony armor. We have raid guard. We have some preparation. Let's do this. It's a bit bright, which I don't mind because Morrowind has always been pretty dark. Oh, and look at this fog. Oh, there's bloody footsteps. There's no music. This is very unnerving already. And the fog is dissipating because of the lantern, I'm assuming. Hello, buddy. You're a butterfly. Blood-soaked butterfly. I'm surprised it didn't say hyper-realistic eyes, butterfly. I like the presentation so far. There's blood on the rocks. Oh, and this is unnerving. Cavern door. Here we go. This is making me uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Oh, there's bodies strewn about. This is graphic. This is really graphic. I hope you're watching this in the dark. Okay, something's knocked me down that I can't see. A demon snake? We have demon snakes after us. That are <laughs> knocking me down. There's more demon snakes. Oh, come on. The demon snakes are like floating. Okay, knock me down again, why don't you? This is uncomfortable. There's a lot of demon snakes. Can I heal? Oh, healing spell. Don't do this to me now. Okay, there's noises. This is actually making me uncomfortable. I'm not going to be one of those let's players that gets scared of like the slightest thing and starts yelling because it's not me. But this is making me unnerved. This is making me a bit jittery. I've stumbled across a lot of blood in this cave, so I don't believe there will be many rescues today. I've also noted a trail of bloody footprints leading into the depths of the caverns. If I follow them, I may be able to find the fiend responsible. I don't want to go too deep just yet. I want to be able to rest before we go down further. Look at the fog just disappearing. This is dope. I'm really liking this. Is that a dog? That's like the same sound effect as the dog from Resident Evil 4. I can't open it. There's no key. We can't help the dog. I want to help the dog. Even though the dog is probably like an illusion and it'll just attack me. Before we go further, I'm going to go outside the cave and rest before we delve deeper inside. Here's hoping our Daedric Longsword is enough to get us through. Do the lanterns run out eventually? Is 15 enough? Hopefully they don't run out too quickly, otherwise, yeah, we'll be screwed if it just randomly cuts out while we're in here. They could be infinite, but I don't know. Okay, let's walk our way inside. That's scary. That's an interesting sound effect. Alright. 
creepy. Hello, decaying corpse. I think it's fully decayed at this point. It's a skeleton. He has a note. Hello, Mickey D. That's the name of my character, don't worry. I've been waiting for you. If you wish to know what happened to the fair peasants of Saran, please come to me. The path splits and there are many tragic turns, but there is only one real road that leads to me. I'll explain everything to you when we first meet, for it will not be long. The journey down into these dark depths will be perilous, and there will be many chances to die before reaching the end. Nevertheless, I know you have power. Use it. There is nothing more from the anonymous writer. Oh, there's a shadow figure. Okay, down he goes. He's just called Darkness. It's like a Kingdom Hearts enemy. Okay, let's keep going. He did a bit of damage to me, but I'm gonna persevere. Look at all these skulls, crates. Okay, seven gold. I'll take it. All right, all right. A mithril blade. 12,000? Is it any good? How is it compared to my katana? 25 to 35? Trust 4 to 45? Actually, that was great stats. We'll equip it for now. Metro long blade. Alright, there we are. This is spooky. I'm uncomfortable. Mummy. Holy essence. Alright, I think that restores health. There's just so many strewn about corpses. Stripped to their skin. There's a locked door to the depths. Um, how many on DC's open lock do I have? Okay, I have 10. 10 should be enough, right? On DC's. Let's go in. It's pitch dark. Let's go further. Oh, hello. Old corpse. Yeah, it's a bit old. It's a skeleton. He has one gold on him. He was very poor. Hello, bats. How you doing? Demonic bats. They are surrounding us. Wait, short blade? This is a short blade? Oh, okay. I'm probably better off using long blade because it is a hundred. I, I think I have to switch back to the Daedra Katana just so I have a better hit chance. We killed all the demonic bats. Now please let me get a bit of healing in. That healing did nothing. Why is my lantern unequipped? Give me back my lantern. Give me back my bullets. It's a great Skinner song. Let's do a bit of healing before venturing any further onward. Not fatigue, not chill. There's like torture devices. All right, you're going a bit faster, buddy. Hellspawn. He's very tall. All right, there he goes down. Bit tough so far, bit difficult. Broken door, doesn't lead anywhere. Here's the cavern back up. Can I even reach it? Can I get back up? Okay, you can, you just have to jump. My fatigue is a bit low, but I'm gonna risk a bit of exploring. Let's just walk around. Okay, what is that? What is that? Hello, that's scary. Lesser demonize. Please let me rest. I need the healing, you know. I don't want to go through all my potions yet. All right, let's just do a bit of restore health. I'll save the fatigue. On, where do we go? This pot has the word alpha, <laughs> alpha written. <laughs> I just broke my creepy past the character. Okay, that caught me off guard. The pot saying the word alpha to me. The letters are faded with rust and there appears to be a stair shaped hole. Do I need a stair to put in the, the indent, whatever? It's like the whole thing. The indent, oh, whatever. Try to open it. The lid refuses to budge. Okay, so I need a stair. It's the word alpha on it. There's a demon tanto. Bound dagger for 60 seconds. There's a lot of demon tantos. Oh, devil tanto. Ooh, hoo, hoo. that's a demon, but these are devil. They all just have one gold on them. Up, oh, stop knocking me down. Now you get up again. Oh, it's more snakes. Everything just has the word demon attached to it. Oh, I can rest. Hey, that's the first time I could rest. Oh, there's another fella there into this. That's scary. Kind of. It's a bit funny. It's a little bit funny. Um, <laughs> you alright, pal? You're ruining the vibe. There you go. Uh-oh. Too bad, they're not that hard so far. Well, they are lesser, so I imagine the further I go in, the more difficult it's gonna get. Adamantium axe, that's very good. Axe is 21, I don't have that high of an axe skill. Further inside we go. I can't see in front of me. It's effective and it's horror. I can see flashings of red. I don't know if that's like a glitch in the visuals or if that's supposed to be there. I think it is supposed to be there. Okay, we have more demon bats. Come on down, pal. Oh, spiders. They're just gonna stay 
flying above me. You okay, pal? Do you need help? I like how I'm the ones trying to help them. I think he's docile. I'll leave him off. There's a butterfly here. They're spider webs. <laughs> he's clipping. Are you alright? Okay, they're flying up. Kind of kills the vibe a little bit. Are they supposed to be doing that? Okay. Uh oh. That's powerful spells. Um, quality restore health. I've knocked him down. Okay, I need more healing. Okay, I've knocked him down. Can I run back? I need more healing. That's creepy. So many demon pets. Oh. It's getting more difficult. If I run back, I think I can get a bit of healing in. If any of you lads and lasses know any good horror mods for Oblivion and Skyrim, let me know. Oblivion especially, because Oblivion would just turn absolutely freaky with a horror mod. Oblivion is pretty scary in itself in some ways, so a horror mod would just really bring out the unnerving vibes of that game. Hello, demonic pets. Why do I keep saying hello to you? You're just mean. I wouldn't say hi to you on the side of the street. Okay. Cavern of the Dead, is that right? Okay, there's more cobwebs here. Onward, onward ahead. <laughs> I'm just jumping into the air, pals. And they're paralyzing me, great. Got through that without having to use our healing. Halls of the Sinner. Do I want to go to the... Which way do I want to go? Let's try the Halls of the Sinner, I guess. Why not? It's like a theme park. What is that? Excuse me? Okay. It has man boobs. Oh, my lantern ran out. Uh, they have a good enough charge to them, so hopefully I don't burn through the 15 I have too quickly. Hello, boys. Demon troll. Having to walk around everywhere because of poxy fatigue. There's stock sound effects screaming at me. A very old door. Who's yelling? What's wrong with you? It's just full of demon trolls and I can hear demonic Morrowind tomb sounds. These demon trolls, they just look like fellas that'd be in a costume. Do they have loot now? I know you're dead, buddy. Stop making sounds. Old corpse, there's not a lot in the way of loot. I'm very disappointed by the loot, I will say. This is a tough zone, maybe i get it later on. I did get the mitral blade, which isn't that bad. For a short blade, it's very good. Maybe there's like a mitral longsword. Okay, what's up ahead? Hall of the Sinners. There's stalactites and stalactites. Hello? Is this like your bedroom? Sammy's lantern? Do you mind if I take this, Sammy? Oh, I can't take it. I voodoo Lou. I voodoo Lou. The best merchant in these parts. It's like Resident Evil when you just come across the merchant. Check out my wide selection of potions, scrolls, picks, probes, and repair items. On top of that, I'll pay top value for your weapons, armor, clothing, and magic items. Oh, I like this guy. Don't get too close. Have you seen any Nanorian stones? It appears you do not have the Nanorian stones of skulls. This stone represents the holy chamber that holds the power of Angel Damascus. Isn't Damascus like the place from Final Fantasy XII? I love that game. Oh, Dalmasca. It was this stone that was lost to the horror of darkness, a huge spider that caused a niche in the west corner of the Lord Depth's home. However, the dark horror has hidden its prize somewhere in this area, in a giant chest. For the arachnophobes out there, there will be a spider, so there's a warning. Okay, what do you have? Elusive, exclu exclusive, not elusive, exclusive. Give me that, give me that. Don't need magic here. The fact that he's selling water breathing hints to me that we're gonna need it, so I'll take him. I don't need to cure diseases. Detect key I'll take, I'll need that too. Bodily restoration, it increases a bunch of stats, yes. Cure Blight, I don't need Reflect. I'll take Reflect in case I need it. I'm gonna forget that I even have it. 3000 gold, okay, what can I sell you? Do you want the Mitchell Blade? I don't need it. I do have an amulet or fortify lock. What amulet am I wearing now? So you have an amulet that fortifies strength, shield and levitate in case I need it. I do have a ring of fortify security too. I have to remember I have that. Okay, do you want the soul gem? You just said you'll buy all my items. Take that, seller max. There you are. Thank you. This video is going to be a long one. Okay, let's keep going. 
Oh, hello, pal. The way they just clip through the ceilings and stuff, it just kind of just removes the air of uh, horror. It's ruining my moral and horror immersion. Evil troll. There's hardly good ones, I mean. He has a lot of health. I might just leave him alone since he's like clipping through. That's a spine. They all have like one goal each. Fine. Are you behind me now? There you are. Oh yeah, by the way, this mod is called the horror mod. It's just called the horror mod. Dispose a corpse. Until healed. Okay, let's continue on with Crypt of Memories. Here we go. Hello, corpus. I'm immune to blight. That Sammy fella didn't sell lantern. That I'm a bit concerned about, just in case I need them. We should have enough to get by, I mean. Okay, let's keep going down. Let's keep going around. There's another corpus. Onward we go into the Crypt of Memories. Please don't leave. I won't hurt you. There's a like carnival music. Unlike the other children roaming these halls, I promise, ever since that terrible incident, I've been stuck here. Can you help me? When I died, me and my friends were supposed to go to the afterlife, but we were pulled to this dark prison somehow. I don't know what this place is. I've been in this darkness for so long. Your light, it brings me much joy to see you again, but please take it away. It stings me. I don't want to be here anymore, I want to go somewhere else, I miss my family, my town, sometimes I hear the shouts, screams of agony far below here in the lower caverns. Please, save me, I don't want to spend eternity here. If you see Ralph or Claire, Ralph and Claire, they're just real names. Can you take me with you, I can fit in your pocket? Alright, get in I guess. Billy's ashes, great, here. Ah uh, buddy, you weigh a lot. Tree, fine. This music, it's all just making me unnerved. Can I repair my gear? There might be enemies nearby, so I don't know if I can. You got some repair in. That's something. Let's continue onward. This feels like it's gonna be a long tomb. This might be like my longest video yet. All right, down we go. This is just strange. Hello. Demon child. Human meat. Human intestines. What is going on? This is just, it's a bit much. <laughs> There's spooky ghost noises too. It would be a bit more scarier if they weren't using stock sound effects, but you know. There's fire and brimstone. There's a lot of these fellas. I need to get some restore fatigue in before we tackle them. Come on, pal. Oh, what? What? Uh, excuse me? Oops. Uh, I, I think I just clipped you. Um, that wasn't supposed to happen. All right. We're back now. <laughs> this uh, uh oh everyone is clipping through yeah it's happening to everyone if you stand there you just get launched up all right well bye fellas i'll talk to you soon oh no not parkour anything but parkour uh oh don't do that something is making a lot of noise uh oh my health's going down fast The torture of what? Of souls? Torture of souls. Okay, well I killed her. Oh, I've killed the demon of torture. I have slain the torture of souls, but the lost spirits remain. I fear these souls will be imprisoned here forever, regardless of my actions. There must be some way to freedom of their pain. Perhaps I can take them with me. Oh well, I'll just dispose of you. Who needs you? Okay, so I guess we killed her. Okay, you want to challenge me after I just took on that demon? I'll just go down, pal. There we go. What's this? There's like a potion here. Cheap rising force. Oh yeah, I guess I could have just used levitation. My bad. Let's go back. Let's go back to where we were. Let's travel back. There's so many loud sounds. This place actually did kind of unnerve me and make me uncomfortable. This was a bit unsettling, I will admit. I wasn't gonna scream like a feckin' horror let's play or something, but you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna go back. We killed the torturer souls. I think that's all we need to do, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna retreat. We're gonna go back. How do we go back? Can I levitate back up? I haven't used this character in a long time, so that's why I'm getting used to all these items again. Oh, it's an amulet, right? Amulet of Heart Heal. Okay. Here we go. 
let's go back. So far we're doing okay with our level 18 character. It did recommend up to 35 but I didn't have a character that was above level 35. I could have also like maybe downloaded a character online from like a save but eh, I wanted to jump in with my own character see how we do. Are we gonna do this whole dungeon? I don't know yet. We might. We'll see. Where was that cave place? Crypt of Memories, Lower Depths. Is it the Lower Depths we want to go to? I'm getting a bit turned around now again. Can I level hit back up here? Come on, go up. Go up. Come on, go up. Up. What, what am I stuck on? Okay, there we go. Okay, there's lower depths. Is this the way it came? I just want to make sure. I believe it might have been. Yeah, we've been here. Oh, Cavern of the Dead. Yeah, that's the way I want to go, right? Yeah. Let's go into the Cavern of the Dead and see what we can find. Cavern of the Dead. It's just skeletons. Okay. All right, lads. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, there's a lot of them. It's like Fort Fire Moth all over again. There's a lot of skeletons. Spooky, scary skeletons are annoying me with their hit sounds. Yeah, just had silver claymores. Fair play to them. Let's go back, do a bit of healing. In we go. How are you fellas doing? Are you enjoying the Cavern of the Dead? Well, you're a skeleton, so I imagine you're, you're probably pretty homely here. There's more of you. Oh no, they have bows. Oh no, go away with your arrows. Shoot that poison arrow through your heart. Like the ABC song. That's a great song. Who stole your heart? You did, hello. You think you're smart? Stupid, stupid. <laughs> he's pausing time. On that archer, yeah, he's a skeleton. Oh, he has arrows of paralysis. Great. Okay, we got him down. That could have been annoying. I did sell my bow before I came here, so those paralysis arrows could have been useful. But, uh, oh, my attributes are damaged? What damaged my attributes? Well, luckily we have those scrolls that heal it, right? Well, one. Uh, it's putting down my carry weight. Scroll of bodily restoration. Our stats are back up, but I, I'm probably going to need more restore stats. I have potions that should be able to restore my stats. And it's just basic loot here. Not much at all. Wait, what's that potion? Restore luck. Fine. Not much here at all. Nothing interesting at least. I'll take a Sujana. Take a restore speed, I guess. Oh, there's a force field. Do I need to defeat all the torture soul demon things to open the gate? There's more screaming. Empty vial. Great. All right. Trap door to the pit of agony. This is the pit of agony. I can barely get out. Let me go back up. There was another way. I want to see what's down here first. Pit of agony. Yeah, that's right. Hello, hell spawn. He's trapped in the gate. We leave him off. Actually, I could just levitate over. Well, I can jump over here. I'm going to save before I jump in to the pit. All right, you go down and you don't get up again. I'll keep you down. Secret chest. Oh, do I need a key? There's a human heart on the floor. The key doesn't seem to be around. You can't stay here. Come on. Let's keep going. Okay, there's no there's no key icon or anything. Do I have to lower that force field over the gate somehow? I'm gonna have to. Maybe I should have kept going in that other direction. Oh, there's a door here. Butchery. Maybe what we need is true here. There's the grate. Doesn't open. At least not yet. There's furnaces full of human hearts and skulls. Steel stove. Uh-oh. Lantern number two. There's a lot of stoves. A meat cleaver. That does a lot of damage for an axe. My axe skill isn't very high though, so we can't use it. There's green poison here. A deeper caverns key. We'll take that. There's a journal. I'm done with reading for the moment. Oh! That actually did catch me off guard. Okay, come on. Go down. Go down. There you go. I think I might have to do a part two of this. There's a lot in this mod. There's a lot going on here. There's music. Give me the emeralds. Give me the add keg thing. Okay, all right. There's drama coins around. Don't need too much. I don't want to fill up my carry capacity. I won't take too many. I have plenty of gold. The pandemonium. All right. This is making me uncomfortable. Okay. You know what? Before we go forward, I'm going to stop here. I think I've played a good bit now for the moment. 
We're going to come back with a pair two, I believe. We're going to try and finish this out. So lads, lasses, for now, if you enjoy the Morrowind Horror Mod, be sure to leave an old like and a subscribe, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Cheers for watching.